Now back uh, to the film more directly, I think one of the real emotional highlights of it is the system of a down performance in Armenia. If you can tell me about what the buildup was to that, what the planning was logistically to get it done, and and then about the night itself, it it makes for it makes for beautiful cinema, and uh, it's it's really something else to watch. System of Down had never played Armenia, and 2015 was the 100th year anniversary of the Armenian genocide. Uh, the band was formally invited by the government uh, to play a free show in Republic Square. Uh, so we were part of the whole planning process and trying to get approvals and bring things that they didn't have within the country, et cetera, et cetera. And so it was it was a long, tenuous process to get it done, but it was well worth it. And I remember the day uh, right before we played the show, huddling with the guys in the band and just feeling this kind of intuitive belonging, feeling like we were kind of almost designed to play this one show, like everything that we had done led up to this day. You know, it's an incredible feeling to feel that you don't feel that every every day when you're playing on tour, you know, it's this one occasion where you feel like this is incredibly important and special. Um, and the show went great. And, and in the eyes of the spectators, the young people that were there, I could see the future progressive democratic future of Armenia. I didn't know that it was only going to take another three years for there to be a peaceful revolution and the whole systemic change was going to occur into a modern progressive democracy, which it did in the 2018 Velvet Revolution. And again, I'm assuming that the fans showing up not only know that, you know, System of Down's great band and they have great songs, but that you guys are eyeball deep in the struggle they have had there for for over a century. Right. Tell me about what you were hearing uh, and getting uh, back from folks that you met on the ground there face to face. What sorts of things were they they sharing with you and telling you? Well, for a small nation, I mean, Armenians are a small, the country has two and a half to three million people. And, you know, the rest of the di- Armenian diaspora is another maybe six, seven million at best, you know, probably less. So we're a very small country. Small countries uh, have immense pride in other people acknowledging their existence and having a, a famous band uh, that speaks about what is important to Armenians, along with the recognition of, among the which is the recognition of the genocide, makes us beyond just artists. So, you know, if 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 an old old Armenian woman or grandfather is walking in the, along the street and they see one of us, they're like incredibly enthused and thrilled, although they've never heard a system song yeah. in their lives, you know. <laughs> Because it's a it's a form of national pride, and we're very grateful and and humbled by it, and uh, and and always try to use it for good. Uh, so you know that aspect exists among our people because we're a small country, we're a small people. 